This is the Miele Scout RX2 Robot Vacuum Cleaner. I've been using it for the last three weeks and I have to say that out of about 10 robot vacuum cleaners I've used to date, this is by far the best in terms of its robust build quality, design and outstanding cleaning performance. You can see the differences between this and the cheaper robot vacuum cleaners literally at first glance. Here there are two side brushes rather than just one so it can sweep against skirting boards regardless of which direction it's traveling around a room. The navigation is superb, it cleans a room in stripes but when it comes to obstacles where it stands apart from the competition are these retractable wheels. Once it reaches an obstacle these retract and the vacuum is able to move around. Very very simple and very effective. Also these sweeping brushes alternate between long, short, long, short and they're also much denser and they're also stiffer and longer than other brushes so they give a very good sweeping performance. Again very different to some of the cheaper vacs. If we look underneath it has the sweeping brush here which you can see is a bit clogged at the moment because I have been using it very heavily. It alternates between standard bristles here and then a rubber strip here. So it's very good at directing crumbs, fluff, dirt, grit into the dust channel here. But there's also a second dust channel here as well for anything that doesn't get swept up there. It will end up in here. You can also see there are very good rugged traction wheels here that retract. So these are good for navigating over rugs and between room thresholds. It will climb about 1.5 to 2 centimetres with ease, which is very good. And everything about this is well designed, including the dust container. The dust container lifts out very easy. You don't get your hands dirty. There's a filter at the back, a reasonable dust capacity. But most of all, the lid just lifts off so you can empty it, clips back into place and there's also an onboard brush stowage here for cleaning the bristles underneath. So extremely well designed there and it all just slots back together again. You can either operate it manually by pressing the buttons on the top and choosing the various modes or set it to run automatically via the clock or you can use the remote control unit supplied or via Wi-Fi using the app on either Android or Apple. Now let's have a look and see how well it performs. Cleaning performance is first rate both on pile carpets and on hard floors. To use the brush flicks out for easy cleaning and is easily replaced. I imagine that one of the main markets for these robot vacuum cleaners is pet households so it's good to know that this particular model doesn't worry our house rabbit Willie. No concern at all. The underneath sensors prevent any thoughts of a death wish and prevent it tumbling down the stairs. Thanks to its deeply sprung traction wheels, it's also able to move from room to room, including over a threshold of about 1.5 to 2 centimetres. It fits 
fits neatly under furniture and also sweeps very close and retracts its side wheels when necessary so it doesn't get stuck ever. It's good for use in rooms all around the home. And with its two side brushes, it gets very close here in, alongside our kitchen units. Right into the corners there. And it sweeps up the crumbs at the foot of the units. sweeps the threshold, crosses it, and then goes into the hall. Gets in very close against the skirting board underneath the radiator. Sweeps the dust underneath and into the dust container. Even fits around the pipe there. it sweeps in another parallel stripe. It never crosses the same area twice, but it doesn't need to because it sweeps up perfectly on the first pass. Following use, or at any time you choose, it can return to base either by using the remote control or the phone app. It's always completely accurate and it arrives on the base with the contacts touching the underside of the machine so it always recharges reliably. Like so.